Sorry about that. Oh, I'll get it. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to make one minor change to this, to the inequality as it was set up from the beginning. So you'll notice that this inequality is very similar to the one that we just did, only now that coefficient in front of x is negative. So the solving process, it doesn't change, okay? Distribute, combine like terms, get the variable on one side, get rid of the constant, get the variable by itself. None of that changes. There is one subtle difference here, and that is once I get rid of the constant, right, the fours go away, there's a negative 2x left. So, when it's in this situation, what are we going to do? Divide by negative 2, right? Here's where things get different. When we divide in an inequality, when there's an inequality symbol here and not an equal sign, an inequality symbol, if we have to divide by a negative number, we still have x over here, over here we're going to have negative 2. This symbol, we have to flip it around. So it was opening here when we started. When we do this division, we have to flip the symbol so that it opens the other way. Like I said, I'd love to have a conversation about the how and the why of this, but I'm kind of uh, uh, in a bit of a jam right now and I need to get out of here. So we can talk more about it on Monday. As long as you see how this process works, if we have to divide by a negative, we flip that sign. Same thing though, when you're done here, I would expect to see a graph of your solution. Any number greater than or equal to negative two. Fill it in, shade to the right. Okay, you have enough now with what's in the program online and your book and your partner, you should be able to get through today's lesson just fine. Okay, any questions, you can hang on to them until Monday. That's it for now. See you on Monday.